All right, guys, today's review, this product will help you hit those PRs. Today I'm squatting five plates. Wait. What? That's not five plates. What are you talking about? One, two, three, four, five. They mean 45s. Hey guys, welcome back. Gluck here, and today we're covering a small US company called Microgains. Ah, hey Jim, what do we have on Microgains? Uh, Microgains, build strength and break weightlifting plateaus with Microgains fractional weight plates. Made in the USA. Are you just reading that off Google? Uh, yes, but I'm just you in another shirt. Laptop's not even on. So if you're not familiar with Microgains, they're a company that's making some unique products. So I thought it might be worthwhile to check them out. I picked up some of their more popular products, which are their fractional weight plates and their dumbbell add-ons. But they offer quite a bit more and they seem to be an expanding company. So who is Microgains? Well, I first found them when I was looking on Amazon for some fractional weight plates that were insanely expensive. And I found these and they had really good reviews. So I decided to pick some up and see what else they make. All of their products are manufactured in the U.S. in Pennsylvania, and I found the packaging jobs to be exceptional. And besides what I bought, they offer a gym pin, and if you're not sure what that is, picture a girthy, fat bottom with a thin, long shaft you can stick into your weight stack, allowing you to add more weight using Olympic plates. They also make a deadlift jack called the jack stand, and there's a version for 2-inch barbells as well, and that's going to help you big boys get them plates on and off when you're deadlifting. It's made from a solid piece of hardwood with a steel pipe for a handle. They also make Olympic plates from two and a half to 10 pounds, and they're made from American steel, which makes them thinner than their iron counterparts. They're laser cut and pretty accurate, within 0.05 pounds. And the list goes on, but rather than cover everything they sell, I'll put a link to their store in the description. Now, if you're thinking, what do I need fractional plates for? Well, if you're not a real man and you can't handle these big boys, then join me on the playground with these bad boys. But really, when you've been lifting for a while and you're doing progressive overload, throwing five pounds every time you lift onto something like an overhead press isn't going to work. Lift the same weight for a few months and tell me how motivated you are. I always say lifting can be as much mental as it is physical and breaking through a plateau is something that we're all gonna have to battle through eventually. So I use these things on exercises like bench, overhead press, and other exercises when I feel like I've been stuck. And they're also super useful for Winnie because it's much more difficult for her to go up five pounds every time. Their Olympic fractional plates run from 0.25 to 1.25 pounds in 0.25 increments. And I got the full set of 10, not that I'll ever use the 0.25, but I needed them for the review. And they also make some in kilograms as well. These plates are highly accurate, all within five grams, which means they can and have been used in competitions. And mine were all well within spec. The coating on them has been holding up, but they aren't the type of plates you're gonna be throwing around. They do seem to scratch, but they're holding up a lot better than the cheap powder coat on my York Legacy Milled. The plates are all three and a half inches in diameter with varying thicknesses based on your personal preference, which I think we all know mine but overall very thin plates. And they also come with a cute bag, which means if your gym doesn't carry this style of weight, you're gonna look super fashionable as you easily bring them along with you. And more importantly, they're really high quality and they stamped in the logo and the weight increment so you're never gonna be left guessing if the finish were to wear away what weight this is. Now there's a lot of companies making fractional weight plates. And they're often a little bit cheaper, especially if you consider that half of them are probably coming from the same factory in China. But these, for the cost versus the quality, are really good plates. And they're the only ones that I know of that are made in America. Now, Rogue does have its rubber-coated version, and that's their fractional and their change plates, but the cost is much higher. And though the quality is great and the colors pop, after owning them, I sold them because I couldn't justify the price at the time. And I love Rogue, but I don't give them quite as much credit for their non-American products. Now, you could also look at Titan, but you'd have to mix and match their fractional and pound change plates, and the styles aren't exactly the same, and the price is nearly identical to Micros. So they are rubber-coated and colored. Very similar to Rogue's. Hmm. Now for the dumbbell add-ons, which are designed to grip onto, but not too tight, any dumbbell handle. And this is another of their products that you can micro-load and add versatility and weight increments to your dumbbells. They're laser cut from steel and riveted together. And they have this thick elastic band that holds them together and they send you extra of them. Now, I haven't been throwing these around, but when I use them, I've never had them come off. They sit on there pretty securely. They're finished in a matte black powder coat and even the rubber band, like everything else they sell, is made in America. And the diameter is about five to six inches, which I've been told is a pretty good length. 
Now Rogue has an alternative if you want to look at their rubber coated steel add-on change plates and they're offered in half pound, one pound and one and a half pound sizes. Now they are a little more expensive but they're another really cool option. Now I'm not a big fan of plate mates, those magnetic dumbbell add-ons, but maybe that's because they wouldn't work with my rubber and case dumbbells. Now I did reach out to Mike from Microgains to see what else I could learn about the company and so I'd look a little less dumb on camera which is probably no small feat. And they told me, or he told me, a few things, which I'm not sure I'm allowed to talk about, but here we are. One, they're working on a new version of these. I don't know when they're gonna come out. He wouldn't tell me too much, but that's something you might wanna keep your eyes open for. And they're working on coming up with colored versions of these to see if that's possible, red, blue, green, that type of stuff. And also standard one inch size versions of these if you have standardized bars at home. Anyway, it's cool to kind of see that they're trying to expand and broaden what they offer. I hope this video is useful. I'll see you guys next week.